Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and uh, we're here today with their uh, spool gun here. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, they gave us a demo on this unit, so we're, in this video we're going to go over setup. We're going to hook it up to our 235. Uh, we're going to weld with it. We're going to talk about some different options that you can get with it, and then uh, we're going to give a little bit of a review on it. So I brought in one of our experts here today, John, our rep. Thanks for coming, John, down to the... No he's gonna, problem. He's going to give us a little walkthrough on setting up the spool gun. Um, so let's jump into it here. No problem. Let's do it. So um, when the spool gun comes, uh, first thing out of the package, <clears throat> your the gooseneck will not be installed on, on the gun itself. So inside the box, it'll look like this. So ultimately what you're going to do is pull the, the gooseneck out of the package, um, hook it up here, and then just thread the fitting on. Sometimes you got to hold it a little bit, but uh, make sure you run your right, the correct diameter tip. It is a thread on style nozzle. It is a threaded tip. Um, we're going to run 035 diameter wire today. Um, and here is basically an 035 tip. Perfect. So now, just what I wanted to show to you real quick was in the, in the kit comes in this nice carrying case, but inside it's got all the placement holders. So it's got loop straps for the, for the whip itself. The gun fits. It's got tip holder, nozzle, and diffuser holder, and a manual. Pretty cool. Pretty nice little setup. So perfect, perfect way to store your spool gun so it doesn't get damaged doing anything else. So first step is we want to hook the spool gun up to the machine. Um, I'm going to have to disconnect my positive lead. Um, this is running the standard MIG process. And you can leave the MIG gun connected, by the way. We just took it out of here to kind of make it easy to see what we're doing. Um, I'm going to connect my lead from my spool gun to the positive. It's a twist lock. I'm going to connect my um, remote current or remote trigger, lead, trigger, trigger lead, voltage to the spool gun. I'm going to connect that and then connect the gas line to the spool gun image on the front of the machine. On the back of the machine, <clears throat> because I can actually leave my standard MIG gun hooked up. I can actually leave my spool gun set up. So I'm going to I'm going to connect the gas line to the spool gun setting. Uh, to kind of you know bring a little point out there, you know, they could purchase another regulator if they wanted to have two cylinders set up ready to go at all times. So okay. um, Very cool. now we're running pure our guns. So tighten down there. Gas is on. So when I turn on the machine, the spool gun light will actually light up. So it recognizes that it's there? Recognizes that the so spool gun is there. You can see we, we were running flux core, but the spool gun came on. So flip we're, over to the spool. There we go. Yep. So now we're on uh, the aluminum setting in manual mode. Um, and then when we open up the panel here, we actually have settings for a uh, 40... 4,000 series and 5,000 series aluminum. So this will run both? This will run both, okay. yes. Okay, very cool. So we're using a 035 diameter, 4,000. So we're actually gonna run a 4043 today. Um, and we're gonna weld on, I don't know, what would you call that? About, uh, about eighth inch. About eighth or so. Yeah. So eighth inch, uh, 11 gauge, 10 gauge. So we're gonna be at 450 inches a minute and 21 and a half volts. On the spool gun, I now have a, my wire feed setting on the gun. So I'm gonna tune this down. You can see the wire speed changing. It's coming down. What was I at, 430? 450. 450? Yeah. 450, and then 21 and a half. I still have to adjust my voltage here. 21 and a half. And that's gonna get us in the ballpark. So. Okay. Um, next step is we gotta get the wire in here. Okay. Um, can be a, a little tedious, but it can be done. So just want to be straightforward with everybody. And I, and I think that's kind of the truth with any spool gun. Yeah. Um, but what we're going to do is just make sure we cl uh, clip the wire, try to straighten it a little bit. It'll help you out. And I want the wire to feed off the bottom. So I'm going to come this way. Now see, this is different than competitor spool guns. They feed off the top, which is, in my opinion, is a little bit tougher to feed when you're trying to set it So off. now the wire's at the back of the drive roll. This is a, uh, this takes the tension off the rollers. So I'm gonna push that down. And I should be pretty close. So let's 
put this back on because this actually adds a tension to the spool to keep it from unraveling. Uh, 53, 56 tends to have a little bit more spring to it. Uh, 4043 is more of a softer wire. Um, and you know what? Let's take this tip off just in case, Andrew. Okay. So it don't jam up. Yeah. And let's see if we got it. Yep, we're good. Perfect. And there we go. Sometimes, I can tell you what, that went really good. Other times I've had a little bit of a struggle, but shouldn't, I mean, you, sh you shouldn't struggle too much. The biggest much thing it. was you straighten that wire out. Straighten the wire gave out. It a good three inches of straightness so yep. it can feed properly. Yep. Make sure you, you uh, just, you saw I've used the pliers on the, on the uh, contact tip. Just give it a little tweak. You don't want to wrench on it and crank it down too tight. Okay. Because um, you could strip out threads. You know, it's brass and copper. They're pretty soft materials. Okay. So uh, with that, we're ready to weld. Wow, so that's pretty quick. Yeah. Let's give it a shot here. All right. Back here. All right, so we got it all set up. We're going to give this thing a shot. So just remember, when you're using a spool gun on aluminum, use a push technique with a five-degree push. Um, don't drag. You get a lot of uh, get the potential for a lot of soot, um, porosity, that kind of thing. So always push this stuff. Give this thing a shot. I got a T joint here. We'll give it a try. Really pretty nice. So I'm trying to think about so some applications where this thing would come in handy. Um, wait, boat docks come to mind, uh, pontoon boats, yep. aluminum ramps, railing, probably some stadium stairs. I've seen some bleachers that were bad. People needing a spool gun. Oh for yeah, that. bleachers like that um, does. Yeah. What what would this? So now that, you know the, it's actually a really a pretty nice spool gun. It's got a nice feel to it. Obviously, well, it's pretty nice. What? What's maximum thickness that we can run up to on this? So I've got customers running regularly quarter inch aluminum with it. Okay. Um, I've gone as much as half inch. Half inch are kind of pushing it, but we want to move up a diameter and wire to carry more okay. amperage, get some more heat. Okay. So we go to an 045 and that larger diameter will just carry that much more amperage. Okay. So, and um, what machines will this fit then, the Rebel Series? So this particular gun uh, is designed for the 285, EMP 285, the EM, and EMP 235 and the EMP 205 ACDC. Okay. <clears throat> so the uh, the 215 class, uh, both the EM and the EMP are going to use the 160 amp spool gun and we'll have that specified in the... Uh, okay, in literature the, for that. Yes. Okay, yeah. very cool. That, I mean, all in all, that's a nice spool gun for what what you're getting in the case. Everything's ready to rock. I mean, you saw set up time. It was Perfect. So, yeah. what uh, what's the price point on this? It's about three hundred fifty bucks. Okay, yeah. that ain't bad at all. Yeah. So, <clears throat> if you want to do an add-on for your EM two thirty-five, I think that'd be a great addition. Definitely. Throw that in a package. I can. Definitely. Cool. Well, thanks for uh, coming down today. Show us up, John. I really appreciate it. No problem, man. Yeah. I'll let you uh, beat it up now all with right. your Sounds good. with your thoughts and everything. Thank so. you. <laughs> John's gone. I'm gonna throw out some bundles at you here and tell you what I did and didn't like about this thing. So I like it um, because it's versatile. It's got a short whip and it fits a multitude of machines. I mean, if you got small jobs to do, this is it. I don't like it because I just don't like spool guns in general. Uh, they're bulky. They're heavy. They're always pulling on you. Um, can't really get them in some tight, maneuverable spots. But for what it is and, and for jobs that are come up, breakages, things like that, it'd be perfect. So we're gonna put a bundle out there for 25 bucks. You get a spool of wire, um, extra nozzles, extra tips, and then a stainless steel wire brush comes along in that bundle, 25 bucks. So thanks for watching my video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and post below videos you wanna see. Um, whatever you guys wanna see, put them down below and we'll see what we can do. So thanks again for watching.